Antivirus software has their own job to protect you against malware and viruses. But in the enthusiast community, these antivirus softwares has a reputation for slowing down your computer. And talking about me, I haven't been used a antivirus software since like last past five or six years. And not only that, in my computer and my laptop, which I every day use, I disabled Windows Defender. But today my question is, does these antivirus software still slow down your PC? Well, to know that, first we have to do a little bit of background check. Well, there are two kinds of security software. One, antivirus, second, anti-malware. Antivirus softwares are effective against most common threats like virus, worms, trojan, keylogger, and if you wanna know more about them, let me know in the comment section. But these antivirus softwares always run on your system, taking your precious system resource. But on the other hand, anti-malware softwares does a scheduled scan and they look for uh, the malware or the threats that antivirus might have been missed or the malware has gotten deeper into your system. And anti-malware software always get updated with new threats and uh, malwares uh, to protect your computer. So anti-malware software does a system level deeper schedule scan. And here's the kicker. Most of the antivirus softwares we use are a combination of antivirus and anti-malware not only they always run your background taking up system resources but also they does a system level deeper scan stressing your system more and more when they scan and this was a big issue when our computer had slow mechanical drives and dual core cpus like core to duo but nowadays most of us use ssds and our cpus has more than four cores so the question again does this slows or does antivirus software slows our computer well to answer that linus and his team did some tests they use a four test setup one with mcafee two with norton three with built-in windows defender and four without any antivirus softwares at all and the results were surprising the test are uh, day-to-day -day task like booting your computer zipping unzipping launching an app file transfer uh, and synthetic some synthetic benchmarks and some games in synthetic benchmarks and games uh, they haven't seen any noticeable performance difference and that is uh, obvious because uh, those task needs your CPU and GPU more than your storage but when it comes to storage sensitive task like booting your computer, zipping, unzipping, file transferring or launching an app, they have seen 20 to 30 percent def performance difference throughout their testing. But here's the thing, those 20 to 30 percent difference are just a couple of seconds but difference is difference, right? But yes, it is obviously better than those days when if your antivirus started scanning your system, well, it will take up almost all your resources and you can go make tea and drink it and then come and do your work again. But now this is not the case. So what is the reason behind this improvement? Well, as I said, our computers has gotten faster and stronger. And not only that, most of the antivirus software have gotten smarter. They does their scan much more efficiently taking up as less as system resource they can and not only that the database they use to locate or detect the threats uh, they are no more hosted locally now they are hosted in the clouds and also when you launch a app for the first time it will launch a little bit slower because your antivirus has to scan all its files but when you launch it for the second time it won't take as much as time as it took before the reason is pretty simple. If the app is safe for the first time, it will be for the next time also. So what is the answer? Well, yes, antivirus software does slow your computer still now a date, but it is not that much noticeable as it was used to before. So if you are an enthusiast and if you want every single performance of your hardware, well, don't use any kind of antivirus and assuming you are an antivirus i hope that uh, you know how to tackle a virus when it's gotten into your system but if you are not if you are an average user 
then definitely use a good antivirus software there are a lots of antivirus software out there but then again it raises a question that do you really need a dedicated antivirus software when windows have a built in protector or the windows defender well that's a topic for another day and this is it for this video if you liked it hit the like button if you don't leave a dislike that works for me and if you have any thoughts any questions or any confusion let me know in the comment section if you want to share this video with your friend who might need this do it and if you want to watch more from our channel you can check this video right here and if you want to subscribe well do it by here and this is akash and i will see you guys in the next one peace